one, two, three. Right, hi, I'm going to show you how to make a custom shape brush um, to use in in Photoshop and made on Photoshop CS4, but uh, I'm pretty sure it worked from CS1 to CS4, prop even 5 probably, or most probably. So you want to start off with um, any size you want, preferably bigger than the picture I'm going to show you. So you've got this, and now... Um, I want to make a full shape of the outline of this turtle as a custom shape. So I'm going to copy that image, go into Photoshop, create a new layer, and then paste that in, then create a new layer. <coughs> Sorry. And get the pen tool and make sure this is checked and this is checked. And then I'm quickly, although you should probably do it uh, more, um, more carefully, I'm quickly going to outline the turtle. You could um, use the freeform pen, but this is a lot, lot easier, in my opinion. It's just like masking in Sony Vegas. So I'm just going to go through the outline, and that's a bit dodgy can zoom in obviously but I've only got one hand to do it um, you can do this with any picture um, and <coughs> sorry oh dear. and uh, <laughs> you can um, make your own custom brush to put in any files as you would know so you just outline the picture quickly and just about done. There we go. Okay, now once this is done, you want to go to your brush tool, make sure it's on the standard brush, and choose a diameter for. Well, it doesn't really matter for me. I'm just going to put 17, safe number. Um, and then click on it and click define custom shape, and then you name this shape whatever you want to. You name the shape whatever you want to name it. <coughs> it uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so now you've got your shape. You can delete both layers. Oh, you can delete layer and go on to layer two. Then click this button. It will probably be on the rounded uh, a rectangle tool or the rectangle tool. You uh, hold click on it and go to custom shape tool. And you pick your shape up here. You can see I've already done one earlier. And then so you get your shape, and click off and then drag it onto how big you want it to be. And then you can choose your colour that you want to fill it in. I'll go for a nice blue. <coughs> you can make it various sizes. Uh, just make a smaller one here. Make it a nice green. Oh, that's not a nice green. <laughs> make it a darker blue there we go um, and you notice there's a line around that but when you save the picture uh, there'll be no such line so although this is doesn't come up as a brush um, you can still use it whenever it's saved onto your Photoshop you can add whatever I'm gonna just add text if it doesn't take too long which it oh not responding <laughs> There we go. So I'm just going to type in turtle, strangely enough, and then I'm just move that. And then you know the rest. Um, edit, free transform. Uh, and you can do basically what you want from here. And so you're done and you can see now that the line's gone from that turtle um, and also background you can do whatever I'm pretty sure it's obvious but I'll just show you background use the colour or use a yellow colour and it'll be behind obviously and then saving it if you didn't know you're going to save um, I'll save it to my desktop and then go uh, 
test um, save as JPEG it's my favorite format you can use others and uh, choose a quality you want 12 and then that will appear and there's the turtle okay thanks and uh, any questions just ask below